Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be talking about Scarlett O'Hara and her favorite beauty products. Scarlett O'Hara is a fictional character and the protagonist in Margaret Mitchell's 1936 novel Gone with the Wind. And she is also the main character in the film Gone with the Wind, portrayed by Vivian Lee. O'Hara is the oldest living child of Gerald and Ellen O'Hara. She was born in 1844 on her family's plantation in Tara, Georgia. Scarlett O'Hara has black, green eyes, and pale skin. She is famous for her fashionably small waist. So I really love Gone with the Wind. It is such a classic. The film is just incredible. And I thought it would be fun to research different products that may have been available at the time. First on the list is Florida Water. And there are a few shots of Scarlett O'Hara in the film using Florida Water. And Florida Water was first introduced in 1808. And it was established commodity in American perfumery shops as early as the 1830s. And it became a drugstore staple by the 1850s. And Florida Water is considered an Americanized Eau de Cologne. And it's kind of like the American version of 4711 in my opinion. They kind of smell similar too. And Florida Water's base ingredient is alcohol in which essential oils are dissolved. Historically, lavender has always been the main scent, but bergamot, lemon, orange, and a variety of others could be, all be added to achieve a particular fragrance. And I quite like Florida water. It's very refreshing and lightweight. The only thing is the bottle doesn't have a spray on top, but it's really nice, especially in the summertime. It's like a nice, kind of almost refreshing spritz. And I, you can even pour it into a vintage perfume bottle if you want the spritz, but I really like it. It smells really good and it's really nice after the shower as well. Both men and women would apply Florida water to their skin and clothing. They would also drink it and spray it in the air to prevent infection, use it as aftershave, and they also filled their bathtubs with it. With so many uses, Florida water was an indispensable product of any 19th century home. So. Let's talk a little bit about 19th century American cosmetics and what products Scarlett O'Hara most likely used. In America during the 19th century, the use of cosmetics declined. Elderly used them to conceal the marks of age. More soap was used than creams. A combination of land, rose water, and coconut milk made a popular hand lotion. Men decided that cosmetics were effeminate and eliminated all cosmetics except hairdressing. During the Civil War, Northern profiteers started the expensive habit of powdering their hair with gold and silver dust. In 1866, it was discovered that zinc oxide could provide an excellent base for face powder. It was safe, it held its color and low price. Between 1880 and 1900, only the least bit of cosmetics was fashionable. The mark of a true lady was her natural untouched appearance. Scarlett O'Hara and woman in the 19th century just didn't wear a lot of makeup. It really didn't become fashionable to wear a lot of makeup until probably the 1920s. So they wanted an all natural appearance. They wanted really white, fair skin and a little bit of rosy cheeks. So the first product that I got from LBCC Historical, which is a great Etsy shop that features historical recipes from different periods in time and I really love their products so I thought it'd be fun to pick a bunch of products that I think Scarlett O'Hara would have liked to use from this store. So the first on the list is 1857 Civil War Cucumber Cold Cream. 1850s and 1860s were more focused on a natural look but that doesn't mean cosmetics didn't exist and general women didn't wear them. On the contrary, cosmetics were worn which gave the skin a natural healthy glow as well as a slight blushing of the cheeks and lips. So rouges gave the just a hint of blush were worn. Cold creams were used as a moisturizer and to take off the slightest bit of rouge. They protect the skin, making it supple, smooth, and healthy. Cucumber and neroli products were very popular at this time. This authentic recipe uses both cucumber and neroli to give a lovely fresh scent. A little goes a long way. Apply it before bed or in the morning. Use it to clean your face from dirt or cosmetics. So Scarlett would use this cucumber cold cream to clean her face and sometimes she would even use it as a moisturizing cream. And it has a really nice cucumber fragrance to it. It's really nice and light, 
weight. A little goes a long way and it's very moisturizing. I quite like it. I've been using it for both a remover and as a moisturizer. Next on the list is a herbal toner astrogen. This recipe works naturally to diminish and remove spots and dark marks on the face and having a very fair, smooth complexion was very popular during this period in time. So Scarlett had to make sure that her skin stayed smooth and porcelain. The main ingredients, borage and rose, help to diminish dark spots and help to smooth out your complexion. In addition, they also help to prevent water loss and keep the skin moist. It is really good for dry skin, sunburnt skin, and other skin problems. And being in the south in Georgia, it was very hot and sunny there, and Scarlett had to make sure that her skin was very smooth and fair. And the original 18th century recipe doesn't have any chemicals in it, so unlike today's beauty products, the process will take longer. And Scarlett O'Hara always had really beautiful, flushed, peachy rose cheeks, and I found this really beautiful peach rose rouge and I love the color and it goes on so nicely as a really nice blush and it just matches her skin so well and she uses this blush on a daily basis and you can also use it as a lip tint but I really like the light peachy color to it and a little goes a long way. And another one of Scarlett's favorite creams is 1822 Cream of Roses Absolute Cold Cream. And this was the first time in history when cosmetics were actually separated into its own category and not being medical like before. And this was a huge change in the makeup and cosmetic industry. And this was a result of smallpox, so makeup wasn't needed anymore in bulk to hide scarring. And now it became more of just a commercial endeavor instead of a medical use. And women could start focusing on facial care starting at the base, which was a huge push in the cosmetics industry. Taking care of the skin was the most important step in a lady's beauty regime. And this is why you started to see products like cream of roses, astrogens, and face washes. Cream of roses was a staple on every woman's vanity, and it was essential for soft glowing skin, and cold creams were produced regularly up until the 1960s. So this is a really nice, everyday cold cream. This one I use more as just like a deep moisturizing cream versus a makeup remover, but I just love the fresh rose smell and it just works perfectly for dry skin. And you can even use it as a makeup primer and it just kind of locks in all the moisture and then your foundation goes on really smooth. Or you could even use it at night before you go to bed. And last on the list is Scarlett O'Hara's go-to anti-wrinkle cream and this is perfect for removing unwanted wrinkles and it features white lily roots, honey, and white wax and kind of makes a really nice pomade to go under your eyes or any unwanted wrinkles. Lily has been used throughout history in skincare routines for the wealthy and it really works well to remove wrinkles. It is also great on dry sensitive skin as well as spider veins and it's recommended to use this under the eye. You can even use it for treating bur burns and preventing scar tissue. Essential lily oil is used in aromatherapy to treat individuals suffering from depression and tends to help in creating a feeling of modesty, happiness, and sense of security. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried any of these products before and who you want me to do next. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.